Have a Zoom room or plans to set one up? New native NDI support means some exciting possibilities for your meetings, webinars, and other Zoom-powered productions. It's also good news for Perl 2 users. Now Perl 2 can accept NDI sources from Zoom rooms, letting you take advantage of Perl 2's custom layouts, live switching, and other production capabilities. And it's super simple to set up. In this video, I'm going to show you how it's done. You'll need a Perl 2, a Zoom Rooms license, and a computer system running the Zoom Rooms app. Both systems will need to be on the same network to communicate with each other over IP. Okay, so our first step is to go into Zoom Rooms and actually activate NDI. So you will need to have administrative privileges to do this, or you can ask your Zoom admin and they'll be able to go in and turn it on. And of course, when they go to do that, um, you want to make sure that they also activate the separate audio option. That's a little checkbox just underneath. All right, so now the next step is going to be to actually set up a meeting so that we can get this all configured in the Perl 2. What we're going to do is on the tablet that's actually connected to your Zoom Rooms uh, computer, I'm going to invite a few of my favorite friends here. So we've got Dan and uh, Marta and they can help us get it all set up. So now that we've got the Zoom room all going, we've got all of our participants in here. So we're gonna to go to change view and we're gonna add the NDI outputs. So I'll start with myself as NDI uh, pin one, and then we're gonna get Dan in there. He's gonna be the second spot. And then of course, last but not least, we'll put in Marta into the pin spot number three and hit done on there. Now back on the Pearl, and this is probably the easiest step of the whole mix, is actually adding everyone via NDI. So we'll go to add a new input and look for these new NDI sources. So that actual computer running the Zoom room, that's the name on our local network. And then this is the Zoom room identifier via NDI. So that's our pinned video number one. So we should see myself here in just a second. Yeah, and there I am. So let's name this one NDI Zoom room. Zero one, and we'll go ahead and add Dan as our second source, and he was video source number two. And then last but not least, again, we will add in Marta into our video spot number three. You can name these whatever you'd like. Obviously, we'd recommend using names that you can remember so you can get them into your production and not have any other confusion later when you go in to put these folks in. All right, so now that we've got these three new sources added in, let's go ahead and build a few layouts within the Perl. So just like you would any other video source, we're gonna go into a few of these layouts and get them set up. So our first one, we can do our MC plus guest. So this will be a two shot. So I'm gonna start adding these in. I'm going to speed up our video here just to make this a little bit quicker. All right, so we have everyone all put together. All our layouts are set up. So let's take a look at what we can actually do on the live stream now that we've got all these Zoom sources and we can start to inject some, some other production value uh, to our stream here. All right, we can see Dan on here. It's looking good. Maybe we want to throw a title on the bottom. This is a title from one of our latest live shows. We can inject that via NDI. And we've also got some bumpers that we can toss in as well. And that's all coming in via NDI, which is pretty cool. This actually is a big improvement over what you can do within Zoom. You can stream via RTMP. You can put it back into recording if you wanted, or maybe put it into another webinar platform like Crowdcast, for example, is what we use. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions or if your workflow is more complex than the one I've shown, don't hesitate to contact us at info at Thanks for watching.